Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two. So, okay, the last uh, separate other toy that has nothing to do with Barbie and Barbie accessories and Barbie fashions um, is, we're getting back to vintage, is this one. I picked up Earl, Sim Earl Sinclair from the dinosaurs, um, or as the show was called in German, Die Dinos. It's one of my absolute favorite shows. Like as a child, I think I did not really like it. I was a little bit afraid because you know, they are gi gigantic big puppets with, you know, people in them or like, it's kind of uh, made by also by the company, like the Jim Henson company. So that's why the, the puppets, they look so good. But also the theming of the episodes, it is so much more than just a silly kind of sitcom style thing because you're following this. Um, family of dinosaurs <laughs> um, that actually kind of have evolved instead of the humans so the dinosaurs are now the ones that go shopping and have to go like you know work a job and like you know uh, live in domestic households and all of that and um, yeah and actually actually the series explores so many like even deeper like topics Kind of drug abuse or like i don't know growing up puberty whatever pollution the world uh you know all of that and it kind of ends very catastrophic so it's a very sad ending but the series is so good and whenever i find the toys to it there's not a lot of them they were made by hasbro and it's actually the family you have got the dad so earl sinclair we've got the mom friend the two um, older sisters, Robbie and Charlene, and then the baby, you know, not the mama, not the mama, <laughs> this one. Um, and uh, yeah, they were made by Hasbro in like the early 90s. So I think the series is from 1990 and ran until 1993. And these toys here might be from, do they actually have a date? No, weirdly they don't have a date, but um, I think they're from 1991 or even 1990. Um, this is definitely one of the original ones. So the Hasbro ones, they are also ones that are similar molds, but they're sitting. Those are, I think, from a different company and more like knockoffs, but I also like those. I have also two of those. But Earl, I just had in the sitting version. I did not have a standing Earl. They have one point of articulation, which is the waist here. But other than that, they look just really good. So. A really good representation. Actually, recently um, a modern toy company, I think NECA, made um, a very much movable, so one with a lot of lots of points of articulation, an action figure of Earl. Um, so there might be even more coming, but I'm happy with the vintage ones. So Earl Sinclair, the dinos, dinosaurs. And I think we're getting now to, yeah, some more accessories because I've, I've talked about all of the Hut family accessories, but there's like smaller accessories that I would like to at least show you a little bit in detail, which all of this bag comes from so many different like lots that we picked up. I also picked up a whole like plastic bag full of like small accessories. Uh, then we had some other like like fashion lots where there were accessories in etc. And even stuff some stuff comes from the Saturday from the small other flea market. So that we visited beforehand. So um, I think I will turn the camera more down and then we focus on this. Then we get to the Barbie fashions and then we get to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more Barbie dolls. Oh no, eight. There's another one, eight. Okay, yeah, there's definitely stuff in there which I was maybe not crazy about, but in the end it was really like we were dividing all of these also accessory lots between Zelina and me. So uh, I have one bag full of combs and brushes. Uh, let's get that for last. I have one. Ah, here are all the Barbie shoes. Uh, oh no, some more. Here are the single shoes. Here are the pairs of shoes. <laughs> um, but what do we have actually here? So there's a lot of small stuff like this for example is a suitcase and this probably belongs together i don't know if it's for barbie or it's for brats it does not come from the 25 hour flea market it comes from the small flea market we visited uh the saturday in the morning where zelina and i we picked up this one like lot with you know bags and, and um uh, suitcases etc she for example got one of the barbie suitcases i took these it's 
it's quite cool why not so for example when i was traveling i took one bar barbie with me and then i had also a suitcase for her so now my barbie can have another suitcase set um yeah i don't know this is definitely one of the barbie um, western hats a red one it even still has the elastic string but i don't know where this one comes from it does not come from the tara lynn because tara lynn has this gold emblem here there were other fashion packs that had these hats in uh, but from what i see they also had something in the front it, this hat does not have anything here or here um, but i guess it, it comes from a, a barbie fashion pack but uh, definitely i love my western hats my cowboy hats this is also really cute it probably comes because it's a pretty small uh, balloon it comes probably from a shelly or kelly set i would say you clip it around the wrist of the doll um, <laughs> here we've got a pistol <laughs> uh, this was in the barbie lot that we picked up first where also the um, uh, barbie and the rockers uh, the, um, diva for example was in uh, yeah i don't know maybe it comes from a big gym or something like that <laughs> um, here's a riding cap it could be a vintage one or it could be a more modern one definitely barbie uh, at first i thought that this might be one of the my little pony party hats from the party gift pack but it's not but i will probably still give it to one of those my um, party gift set ponies because <laughs> it's just a little cardboard hat um yeah there was one uh, playmobil figure in there which i probably i will ask my niece i mean she's she is grown out of, of Playmobil, but she used to like them. She, I think she still has her old Playmobil figure, so maybe she wants to have this. Um, put it just to the other ones. Then I think this comes from a Monster High doll, if I'm not mistaken. At least uh, Google uh, showed me that this belongs as a pet of one of the Monster High dolls. I'm not sure, probably an older one. So not, not like a G3, but I don't know. If you know, if that is correct, I couldn't really further find out anything maybe it isn't even but i think it is a monster high pet uh then i have like actually three of these uh, doves here uh which are hair clips i don't know where they come from google didn't show me anything <laughs> so the picture search and the uh you know lens google lens but they are very pretty and you know they're hair clips um i have <laughs> this is definitely something like a, you can put it on a barbie doll it's a cup can be like held by the by one finger here i have some marshmallows on the stick so some cute accessories actually a couple of hair bands and uh, here's a hair band a barbie hair band probably a, a crown and another crown so um looks okay to have a couple of crowns um also here i don't know it's probably also just a little uh, princess or a fairy wand or something i cannot tell if this is from a barbie or some some other doll no idea or even not for Playmobil, it's probably too big. Uh, ah, yeah, this one here, oopsie, another um, like crown, but probably for a Ken. So one of the Prince Kens, I guess. And this cute little heart, <laughs> which uh, I think you can open it up. I forgot how, but it's like a, um, what is it called? You can close doors with this or close whatever. Um, so let's get to this here which is all combs, brushes and hair accessories. Um, this I actually found out it comes from one of those um, um, to, from the 2000s um, Barbie. Uh, I think the from the movie from what I the Rapunzel movie. I think there was a cut and style Rapunzel Barbie doll. So but from 2009 so not directly released with the movie but later on i guess so it's scissors that you cannot cut anything with which is ridiculous to me why then actually <laughs> show them then i have here these three accessories which come from a barbie set i think i think the lena found out what they are because they were twice in there so every one of us got one of the sets um if you have seen her haul video from the flea market she probably has said it i forgot so and i haven't Put it like wrote it down then i have another set which has a little s on it so uh, i was like is it zindi but i think this s i don't know even know if you can see that can you probably not uh, i guess it's just steffi love you have a hair dryer another brush and i have no clue what this is maybe is it supposed to be hairspray or something <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but it all of them have this little s on it and now combs and brushes 
This is either an old like 80s Barbie uh, brush or it could also be Petra because they use the same mold. <laughs> um, these I don't know, they are very cute. I guess they come from a bigger doll. Um, this is a like 2000s I would say Barbie brush, very pretty. And I actually have to say, I like to use these when I brush out like a freshly made Barbie curls, uh, which I don't want to like be in this tight ringlet style that I want to brush out. And I use these types of um, brushes because they have, they have these, the, um, here they are very far apart and you can use them very good for just brushing out big curls. And this one is very pretty with a um, butterfly on it. Um, <laughs> This one, I don't know where it comes from. It probably comes from older fakey toys. Uh, I have a couple of them. I like to use them in my own hair because you can, it's like, you know, a hair pick. Then when you stuck, stick it in your hair, then just a little bow looks out. It's very cute. Happy about this one. Um, here we've got two Barbie brushes uh, or combs. This is also one of the seahorse uh, picks, which could probably, this one comes from the Fountain Mermaid Barbie, but also uh, earlier Barbie lines. I think the Island Fun Barbie line also had this style, so it could also be from one of the Island Fun Barbies. Um, and a, a normal shell brush from the 90s or late 80s, probably. Then we've got a G3 My Little Pony uh, uh, comb or brush, brush in this case. <laughs> G3s mostly had brushes. Um, and this is actually a pony that I found out because this with this um, like rose on it, there could only be one pony that it uh, could go to, which is rare, rare in G3 My Little Pony because mainly they all have kind of the same ones. Um, but I forgot to write it down, but I have, have it on my phone. Starflight. So the pony that this would come with is Starflight, which is a pony that has big wings and the cutie mark is a star that you could push and then the wings would flap. So a G3 pony from the mid 2000s. So cool, I don't have this one. I have one of the same um, kind of style of pony with the flapping wings, but this is cool. This was also randomly in one of those uh, like accessory lots. And here we've got a G2 My Little Pony brush, also a comb, also in there. It's definitely a G2 My Little Pony. Did I say three? No, it's G2 My Little Pony. So it's from the late 90s or until the maybe early 2000s, but like 1997, 98, uh, 99, 2000, around that time, the G2 My Little Ponies were released. And yeah, this is one of the combs. And the only G1 item that I found at this flea market was this G1 My Little co uh, Pony comb. It's a very simple one, uh, though this is one of the straight ones. So sometimes you find them where this uh, thing here looks a little bit, a bit more bent or can concave than it would come from an Italy pony, from a lot of them, but it is straight and that give, like it could be more from like maybe Windy had this uh, comb or even the Puff and Puff Perfume Palace, for example, came with this comb. So. Yeah, but it is an original G1 My Little Pony comb, by the way, from the same vendor where we, we bought this big Barbie lot with, you know, the Diva and Pink and Pretty and the Zindi and the Passions, etc. So this also came and I asked her if she had ponies and she told me, yeah, uh, she still has at least one of her ponies. And I was like, why didn't you bring it? Um, she said, no, I don't want to sell it. it it's, uh, she will not, she's not like, um, willing to part with it. It was apparently the pony that she still has as uh, one of the um, Dance and Prance ponies, which I don't think that this comb came from, but yeah. And then shoes. I mean, these I will not go too much into detail here. Barbie shoes. We have some original 80s ones, like these thin ones, some of the 90s thicker heel ones, um, um, one glittery one of the 90s and some modern like this, um, a cool shoe mold and one skipper shoe just one here but yeah and these are all shoe uh, pairs and actually also uh, I put the crown in because I think that goes to the same I don't know probably from one of the prince princess Barbies or uh, movie Barbies or something are uh, these golden shoes with the same golden crown it came from the same lot and then yeah many different ones so we've got some from ken normal white ones from ken two pairs um, these are actually steffi love rollerblades and i kind of like them <laughs> um, some modern ones some that are like older that are more like the um like 70s style a little bit but they are not 
original Barbie, though I like them. Um, then we have some really 80s pairs, like these white ones, the thin ones here, blue ones, um, another pair of white ones, etc. We even have some mules in yellow here. These are also original ones, so not the ones that um, these are real good quality ones. Uh, some fakes definitely also in here, or even red mules. Two pairs, which is amazing, both of them, I think. Uh, one of them is an original pair, the other one is a fake pair. Very cool. Uh, I don't know where these come from. Maybe they go to any like a, another small doll line. Um, glittery ones. So, kind of nice. We kind of divided, it's not just me. I, obviously, Zelina also got shoes and all of that. So, um, I think we kind of divided it evenly. She got some accessories, I got some accessories. It was really the day after we were sitting, <laughs> sitting still like, uh, you know, out in the sun and we were dividing all of those lots that we picked up where we actually put both money in. Now we're getting to the fashions and I already said it in uh, the other part of uh, the video or the other video, I don't know if it's two parts or whatever. Here is the Superstar um, jewelry. So the necklace and the two, uh, you know, the two earrings that go to the pink and pretty Barbie that I will put on my pink and pretty Barbie then instead of this one because my that I have already on display is in a bit of better condition. And here are the mules from the Barbie and the Rockers Diva. So yes, I have them. <laughs> I didn't just didn't put them on the dolls. So but now let's get to a lot, a lot of fashions here. Um, for example, more Barbie and the Rockers. Not a complete set, but this is a Barbie and the Rockers fashion from the concert tour. And let me tell you, this was one of those, you know, fake leather materials. Ah, oh, it shed so much. It was like crumbling off like, ugh. So put it in the washing machine. Now all of it is off the material and all that's remaining is this gray material, which I'm fine with. It's still a cool jacket, you know. Uh, concert tour fashions, so from 1986, uh, 80. Seven, the number 3393, actually missing pants and a pink top and a bag. But yeah, I have the shoes to this. So these Western boots in pearlescent silver together with the jacket. Here I've got something that probably is uh, belongs together. Uh, oopsie, <laughs> this way around. This is uh, from the Barbie Be Active Fashions kind of a bathing suit thing or a leotard actually came with little shorts in the same material um, and it is a variant I don't uh, have this pink variant yet I only have uh, the yellow variant it always comes with a small Barbie B here on it and I have it multiple times in yellow I think the yellow version is more uh, yeah you find it more often but what I did not have yet is the belt that actually also goes to it so here the shorts are missing and it's not in that good condition but I have the belt at least yeah it's from um, 1984, I think. Here is a 1986 Barbie dress. It's from the Fashion Fun line, a very simple one. Um, well, actually also would come with a belt, with a red one. And interesting is also that this material is very bleached because it's actually, um, it should be way bluer, way darker. And when you see it, it's also, it looks like there is in some spots there is still some blue in it and the rest has turned more like purple uh, interesting um, and actually there's also a turquoise variant of this but you see that's the 80s Barbie logo 86 this is from the great shape Barbie which I still don't have I have this uh, I have another Barbie in the uh, on display that is kind of dressed like the great shape I have actually a lot of pieces uh, I don't think that I had the back yet so we have got uh, the big like um, you know the long uh, jumpsuit thingy this bag and we have the shoes and I think I also have the shoes already so this actually came with these ballerina ballet shoes but they have little strings actually they always like always are broken off I've never had one pair that uh, had them on it but yeah great shape Barbie you know the Toy Story Barbie you could say because she looks like what uh, the Barbie in Toy Story looks like from 83 uh, and uh, well, released in 84 Oh, more Barbie and the Rockers. This is so good. 
It does not come from the lot with a um, with a diva in it. This came from another lot where we mainly just picked up fashions. Um, and Selena, I think, had most of it. Or I'm not sure, but I have a Barbie in the rockers that definitely comes from the Barbie. But I have almost none of her outfits. So here is uh, the separate top that always came with it in way better condition than the one that I have. <laughs> So mine is all like splatters with blue over it, etc. It even, you know, says Barbie and the Rockers. But it also comes with other skirt. And yeah, this also had this horrible flaking material. So, you know, fake leather. Uh, so I put it in the washing machine and all of it went off. So I'm happy that is just the white uh, underneath fabric is still there, which you can still put it on, on the Barbie because it looks still good and will not flake off. I prefer it like this. Um, it also came with the... Um, leggings which i actually have and there's a variant so this is the variant to me because this has the stripes uh, vertically uh, horizontally while the one that i have has the little stripes um vertically so ver vertically horizontally that's the difference so i don't know if i put this one in the barbie probably on the barbie because it came with this outfit and also the correct top that i never had i never had this top from the barbie and the rockers line and even the shoes and even the little like belt thingy and even the headpiece so it is wow this is like almost the complete outfit the jacket is missing but i do have the jacket so i think i can know uh, apart from um the little pieces that would make the shoes look like um boots so like the boot shoe covers those i don't have but all of the other pieces wow now my my barbie and the rockers by the way first wave barbie and the rockers is like almost complete she's from 86 or like 85 and then released in 86 so mid 80s doll ah here <laughs> once more twirly curls i was even surprised that twirly curls wasn't in this lot this is also where I, we got the um eva and that's all this lot um but the cool thing is it's the twirly curls skirt the twirly curls um, leotard which I almost never find I have found it once more so um, now I can because I have a couple of double twirly curls Barbies so this is in a good condition can now also go on one of those then they are maybe they sell maybe someone wants them if they have almost complete and I even have here the shoes that also go to the twirly curls so they also came from this lot um, very very good by the way twirly curls is an early 80s Barbie she is from 1982 released probably 83 but was probably on the shelves for a very long time because i have barbie magazines that still advertise her in the mid 80s so um what else do we have here <laughs> ah yeah two ken fashions i put them together they don't actually go together but as they are both twice as nice with this one i my brain went to what is this is this a michael jackson thing <laughs> it kind of is um but because when i just google lens searched it all that came up were michael jackson dolls but this is not the michael jackson dolls they always also have a silver like you know um i don't know it looks like a zipper or something so they have more accessories and i found out no this is actually from a ken twice as nice set uh, from 1984 uh, it's missing black shoes and of course pants but it's definitely inspired by Michael Jackson, for sure, especially as being something from the mid 80s. Uh, this one was also as being twice as nice, you know, it's a reversible fashion. It had another inside, which was also this horrible flaking fake leather material. Put it in the washing machine, almost all came off. There's some little spots of silver on it, but it's not flaking off anymore. So happy about that. So that's mostly what I do. If I have some of this material and it's really not salvageable, there's too much flaking off already. I just throw it in the washing machine and then mostly everything comes off. And then you have still have just the normal fabric that was underneath. Another twice as nice piece is this sweater. Yeah, nice knit sweater from 85. Uh, it was, yeah, also came in a simple fashion pack, twice as nice with green shoes and also with pants. So, and green, gray, sorry, I wrote down green. Now with gray pants and gray shoes. Both. oh yeah this is something um that I, I got pretty separate from all of the other barbie fashion lots i actually got it together where i got the uh, glow friend this was the same uh, seller and we found out 
that this is actually from the Maritime or Maritime or um, Sea Loving Barbie. It's just missing the two uh, blue stars in the front, uh, which is cool. I don't have this. So other than that, it's just a simple plain skirt. Looks almost like a tennis skirt, but no, Sea Loving Barbie, uh, which she is from '84, I think. What else do we have here? Ah, oh, yeah, this is something. This is actually the outfit that the uh, Malibu can was wearing when I found him. Um, I'm not 100% sure because I found this uh, as being a Ken fashion from 1980, but it had a big logo on it actually, very colorful from the fashion collectibles set, which it could still be and the logo has like come off because it's more like a sticker that was on, but you cannot see that there was any logo on it. So I'm not ever even sure if this is from it, but it could be 1980. And then we have here normal blue like jeans. They have a, a metal clasp, so they are definitely original Barbie, Mattel, I guess. Um, I don't know, they could be from fashion favorites or fashion collectibles or fashion classics. I cannot exactly tell. A lot of Ken fashions came with blue jeans. So, um, but I guess they are from, like, as, as this is something from 1980. These are probably also from around the 80s or even the 70s because, you know, the Ken probably is one that came out in the 70s that was wearing this when I found them. Ah, this here. I was, it gave me quite a time, like a long time to research where this comes from. It's just these two pieces. Um, yeah, kind of a cape thingy. What is this? And then, whoop, this is a little top, obviously. It's a strapless, uh, you know, top like this. Um, but yeah, it comes actually from a very, very big fashion pack, which is called the Spectacular Fashion from 1984. And it is missing a lot of stuff. It's missing um, a tight long skirt, a wide maxi skirt, a jacket, and a mid midi pencil skirt. So it was one of those fashion packs where you had a lot of different ways to style it with a long skirt, with a shorter skirt, with a wide, like a flared skirt, uh, with a cape, without the cape, the cape around the shoulder, the cape around the waist, whatever. So one of those mid 80s fabric it was really just these two pieces in there and i'm also pretty sure that we didn't divide any of the pieces because for some of the fashion packs uh like for example the first one i showed you the barbie and the rockers with the um, silver or gray jacket the top that belongs to it actually is now in selena's pile so because we didn't know that this would go together but i don't think that we had any of the rest of this because it would all be in this fabric um Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This was on one of the dolls that in the end like Selena picked up. Um, the one that is missing one hand. <laughs> but this doll uh, was wearing this top and I was like, oh, I have the matching Barbie to this. Because this uh, goes to the Magical Mermaids Barbie and Chrissy set. Uh, it's one from uh, 2000, maybe released in 2001. So she has already a generation girl face, but as she's a mermaid, I like her, I will keep her. And I was missing this top for the longest time. It's actually a very pretty top. It has this iridescent crinkly fabric. And then it even has some, it looks like, like maybe seaweed or something down here, glittery. Uh, I'm so happy that I have this and can finally put this on the doll. Oh, let's come to this wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful mod fashion dress this is the dress from the 1968 yeah late 60s fashion pack called um sparkle squares it's just a dress but you know what i actually have the jacket already here it's on my julia doll um so she can now because she, I, mean, she I, I put her in another cool uh, dress but I can now finally also give her the dress. This is a mod fashion, so like, you know, late 60s, the modern fashions um, of that time, the very colorful ones with the super delicate fabrics. And yeah, of course, this was also pretty ripped here in the back. This was the dress that the Petra was wearing. And I got the Petra mainly for this dress. But this is, I mean, look it up. Those fashions are very expensive and you know, I got it with a doll and all of this lot together for very cheap. So I'm so happy that I can put now my Julia doll also in this dress. It will look so good on her. Um, yeah, and this is not even the full outfit. It would actually also come, uh, I said, I mean, the coat I have, but then with stockings and um, with um, shoes, obviously, and a silver purse. Yeah. Oh, here we've got something from the 90s, also very neon and colorful. <laughs> 
um, not all of this goes together directly but this is for example the jacket of bicycling barbie Ta -da, very good condition all of the stickers are on there i mean it's not stickers it's prints <laughs> so um this is from the um gymnast barbie i mean i have gymnast barbie i even have a double one um, but i try to get a full outfit also for the double one so i maybe can give her to someone else that she wants her and then also these shoes were in there um and i'm not sure one of them it's from the same lot it was a very small lot with mainly 90s fashion that we got and i think one doll selena picked up um so i i don't know i think these are the ones from the um uh, blah 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 from the gymnast Barbie and I think these are the ones from the bicycling Barbie or it's the other way around Well, it might more be this way around, but definitely one is from those and those that all came from the same lot uh, Those dolls are of course as I said 90s dolls bicycling is from 1995 uh, gymnast Barbie is from 1993. So yeah mid 90s Here we've got two things that have have or not two three whatever that have to do with a um, perfume pretty line so this shawl thingy here uh, goes actually to a fashion pack. Uh, it's the scented fashions or you know perfume pretty fashions from 1987, um, and it comes also with the shoes. The shoes were also in the lot, so I'm pretty sure these are the correct ones that uh, come to this. But obviously it's missing the dress, uh, it's missing arm warmers, and you know I think it also came with a hanger. Um, but yeah, I've got this. But then in the same lot there was also this. And this comes not from this fashion pack. This actually is from the Perfume Pretty Whitney doll. Also 87, um, 88. So, and oof, there's something in there. There's a little picture of Barbie in there from the Perfume Pretty Barbie. And there was makeup or something in there. So, doesn't look that nice, but this um, mold was also used uh, later on for I think either other dolls or other fashion packs but I'm very sure with these two type of glitters so this is the gold glitter and you've got the silver glitter this directly comes from the perfume pretty Whitney I don't have the perfume pretty Whitney but I mean she's a lovely she is obviously I mean the brunette doll of that line she has got this heavy face and she's very thought after <laughs> okay here are I think a couple of pieces in that come from um, older Zindi dolls the set I picked up one Zindi the ballerina Zindi and from this lot um, this dress was in there and I could definitely identify it as being from the 1980 coffee party fashion pack from Cindy or even was it even a doll I don't know could it also be a doll but I'm not sure it definitely <laughs> called coffee party from 1980 from Cindy um, this these are little panties they are the same material that the Cindy um, top is made out of so either they come maybe maybe this was the underwear that actually the um, active ballerina Zindi was wearing but it's definitely Zindi because this is not a material that Barbie was using um, and also the shape is so different and then I think this might also be Zindi um, not 100% sure but it is also a little bit I mean the sizes are just different kind of in the Zindi fashions um, and these shoes definitely these are definitely Zindi shoes I could identify those so I don't know if this came maybe from, from this fashion pack here because of the red buttons or something or whatever but i'm pretty sure this is something from the pedigree zindi line um and i have more interesting stuff yeah let's start with this this is so interesting um so you can see here we've got a kimono and um it has tag in it that says takara where is it there it is Takara. So this actually comes from a Takara Barbie. That's uh, so interesting. We've got a full fashion, uh, the Obi and also the Getas. Um, that's the time when Mattel was kind of branching out into the Japanese market. Because in 1981, I mean, before that, Barbies were also already released, the normal looking ones in the, on the Japanese market, but never, never really successful. So they thought, let's partner up with a Japanese toy manufacturer. So Takara in this case. So yeah, so Mattel uh, in 1981 formed a uh, partnership with the Japanese uh, com company um, Takara. 
and uh, they created Barbie dolls uh, exclusively for the Japanese market and they did look nothing like our Barbies from that era. Um, they have completely different faces. You would say they look more like, you know, manga anime characters. They have these like different eyes, you know, they look what you, when you think of a Lika Chan doll nowadays, this is what also the Barbie look there. Um, they also were smaller and they never had like super platinum hair, just more like this milk tea blonde would be the lightest shade that would go. They came with modern, normal 80s fashions, etc. But also a couple like lines always were released um, named the um, Japanese traditional style Barbie or the kimono Barbie. Uh, they were definitely released in the early 80s till the mid 80s. This one I found it came on a doll, was only released in Japan um, in 85. So with this color uh, kimono and this obi and these getas. Um, it's super, super, super interesting. Um, how, how got this like to this, you know, <laughs> flea market? here in, in Germany slash in Switzerland. It was directly at the border. It was the first one when we uh, crossed the border from uh, Switzerland to, to Germany. This was the first vendor there. Uh, how the, I don't know, were they traveling in the 80s to Japan maybe? And, uh, or whatever, that, that, the, that one of the family members has uh, had a job where they had to travel to Japan and they brought a doll with them. Super interesting, I would love to know. Um, by the way, later on, so it actually just lasted until around 86 that they partnered with Takara. Uh, but Takara kind of kept going with this style of doll, uh, which from that point on they didn't call Barbie anymore, they called Jenny. <laughs> and the Jenny doll is still produced nowadays in the um, Ligachan line. So Ligachan is also Takara. So the little older, the little like taller one, Lika-chan is a smaller one, and the taller one is Jenny, she's still produced. This is what Barbie kind of became. Barbie then, when um, Mattel went out of this production, so uh, it was just Takara, then they called her Jenny. And actually from that point on, from 86, um, uh, Mattel partnered with Bandai, and they made the Maba dolls. Very similar looking. Um, Quality-wise, the quality went down a little bit, and Maba is just because Martel Bandai. <laughs> um, but this is so interesting. And there's a couple more fashions that I think also come from this, um, you know, Takara. Where is it actually? Where are the fashions? Here. From the same lot. So there's a couple more pieces that have the Takara um, logo, like here, the tag, also Takara. So I guess quality wise, and also from the special, the, the this looks, this maybe was a set or it came from different fashion set or from another doll because the quality is so high. You also have this long pleated skirt, you know, also with the metal clasps. So very much Mattel quality from that time still. We have this jacket with a real zipper with a YKK zipper here. We have this jacket. This is so fluffy and cute and I mean it totally would read cute Japanese style for me in the 80s. You have this hat, which also I could not find out anything else. Maybe it's also the Zindi hat, but I could see that this comes from one of those Japanese style dolls. It goes really well. And then I, I was just like guessing maybe this bobble hat as well, because it's also with red. And definitely these shoes. These shoes are also from the Takara Barbies. So yeah, they have a little bow on it. Can you see that? Yeah. So I guess, I stumbled uh, upon a, a small, you know, Takara Barbie lot. Was that actually everything? No. Ah, oh, yeah, this one here. I guess it might also be Zindi, but not exactly sure, because this is a very nice quality. It has the clasps that look like Mattel clasps, you know, not the good ones, but uh, this is not Mattel. This is not what Mattel would use for Barbie. Uh, we've got a little, like maybe it's a lingerie set or something, but I guess it might be Zindi. And this was actually in there twice. So Zelina has the same pieces, I think. Or maybe, maybe just this one twice. But yeah, so I guess these pieces are Zindi. <laughs> and here we've got Takara Barbie pieces. Super interesting. Is there anything else fashion-wise? Oh yeah, no, this actually yeah, from the flea market. But I forgot to show it in another video. This I got from uh, Zelina, she had a double of it. This goes actually to the uh, first uh, Stacy, so little sister of Barbie uh, doll, which I have. I have none of her fashion, so now I have at least one piece that goes to her.
Ah yeah, here's one more set that I put together. This is one of these instances where we also divided uh, accidentally. Not by chat, like we didn't want to, but it was. Um, because here we've, I've got these two stockings and they come from a, a, a fancy frilled set from 1988. And actually the pen, like the, the top and the skirt that would come with this, that also came from the same lot, is now at Selena's. This white like frilly skirt and the little top with a light pink flower on it. So, ah, we divided it. We didn't know that these would go together. So I have now <laughs> the, the um, socks and she has the rest of the outfit. And I, as it came from the same set, I guess this also goes to it. So it's one shoe. And I have actually, uh, no, it's not one shoe. Stupid, I have two shoes. I have a couple of fashions here that I don't know what they are. Not too many, but I don't know, uh, honestly. Yeah, I have this one, which is a mesh shirt. Can you even see that? Does it focus on the mesh? Yeah, no. Uh, with a hood. It looks very cool. At first I was like, oh, is this maybe Rap and Rockin' Barbie or Ken or anything like that? Or or even is it older? Because, you know, in the 60s, Barbie also used this material already. I cannot tell. It doesn't have a tag anything. If you happen to know if this is something from, from a doll line that I should know, then tell me. Ah, yeah. I have this velvet riding cap here, a soft one. Don't know where this comes from. Here we've got one of, like, you know, a cloth, like a little blanket or a little... I don't know, a, a, a towel or something for a Barbie, I guess. I really like this dress. It's definitely a clone dress, I'm very sure. But it's a very cute one, very 80s. Uh, has these little pom-pom uh, rims uh, um, attached here, these uh, on the edge of the sleeves and the collar. Um, it's not, it's a nice material, but it has these weird, um, Velcros with just one sewing line, so this is definitely not Barbie. <laughs> but I will keep this dress, it is cute. Um, and then this big dress, actually, which is definitely a Petra dress, I'm very sure. Mm, I actually would like it and all of that, but it is very, very ripped here. Mm, this is like Petra often used these delicate materials, but yeah, they rip very easy. So a lot of chiffons, and not chiffons, a lot of organzas, actually, that's what Petra often uses. And yeah. You see it has big mesh underneath, so definitely not Barbie. Ah, yeah, and these two pieces come from a private collection wedding fashion pack from Barbie from 1991, uh, the number uh, 2718. It is just a veil here. You can put it you know, on the head and then this little accessory, like, I don't know, put it around her wrist. Um, not too crazy about wedding gowns and all of that for Barbie, but this is one that Lilina already had, so ultimately, like immediately it went into my collection then. Okay, um, and let's get now to the last dolls. Or wait, actually this kind of belongs to the fashion still, although it's not just a simple fashion thingy. I found this a Barbie fashion pack from the 90s, still on card. It says it's from the fashion favorites. Does it have a date? It has a... I think it's 90 doesn't have a date. That's probably 94 or 93. <laughs> I don't have this dress. It's pretty cool. It was definitely opened. I don't know why someone put it back. The cool thing is the little, um, little dangly thing is also still in there. And it is a simple Barbie fashion pack. It actually shows um, a sun jewel Barbie in the back there. So, <laughs> and here we've got the simple dress. I will probably take it out. I mean, this is already ripped to shreds but here in the back you can see I actually also have this dress and do I have another one of the set mm, no actually not maybe I have I think I have this combination here but this is the dress here very simple but was very unexpected <laughs> uh, from a from a box where I didn't expect anything because there were big dolls laying on top and it was very much on the bottom under the table and there was a bigger dolls and blah 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 and I got out another doll or actually two more dolls um, and then this which I got I don't know I got it for a euro or something um, and the two other dolls that I found at this vendor and decided to pick up although I actually do have them are uh, horse riding Barbie complete Okay, without her trophy. She's missing the trophy, but she is super good condition and like 
complete. I, I don't have the doll that complete. I actually have her, but not that complete. And then also the babysitter skipper. And I do also have this doll. But um, I decided to pick her up because I recently found another complete set of the babies. So I have all three babies of the babysitter skipper now double. So now I also have another double of the doll. So it makes sense I can then give the full doll, including the babies, to someone else. Uh, though I will keep this one, actually, because um, this one has a little rip in her um, neckline. So if I move the head a little up, ah, oh yeah, there you can see it. Uh, it's very much not noticeable. Uh, my other one is in a, in, concerning this in better condition. So I will give this other one to someone so then nobody can complain about this little rip in them because I know a lot of people are very picky with this. So probably this one this here would not find a new home easy, let, that easy. Um, and also I love that the hair turned out this great. The other one, I did not do a, such a good job on the hair. I mean, look at this. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with the way I did the hair on, on her. So I will definitely keep her. Babysitter Skipper, this is the one from 1994. The one that came with three babies. Um, uh, there was one from 1990. Yeah, 1990 that had one baby that had a different outfit. So yeah, I found this babysitter skipper where I also found this Barbie um, like kind of carded fashion pack, the set and also her. And she is house riding Barbie from 1994. Um, I have the doll, she's, she's a very common doll, um, but I never had her little head. I mean, she even still had her original hairband. It was just crumbling away. So I put another hairband in there. The hair was still so good. I didn't have to do anything about that. And um, she comes with her shawl that's always missing. The jacket you find quite often, also the trousers, but the trousers are always so much, there's no silver on it anymore. And even here, although I think the doll was almost never played with, uh, the silver starts to kind of come off just by touching it. It's a very delicate material. It's a stretchy jersey, but the silver always comes off. And she has her kind of boot covers here. Also never had them. And she also comes with her shoes. And this is interesting. It's the first time that I have this type of shoe. You know, this is kind of on the, you know, articulated 90s body. So I always call it a gymnast body. And she's so stiff. So it seems like she was never played with. Just taken out of the box and that was it. Um, she even still had the rubber band around her arm here. Um, where the, oh, it's actually still there. I did not do a good job at cleaning her here in the hand. There is still the rubber band that was holding uh, the, um, now what is it? Kind of the, not the, not the trophy, but where Reitgerte in German, the little stick that you could use for making your horse go faster. I really don't know how this is called in English, in a Gerte. Oh, I did not clean this. Why did I not clean this hand? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is still also on there. And I wanted to talk about the shoes. So she has the big flat feet. And mainly you find these dolls, just they were released with these um, trainers, with the big sneakers. But there's actually another shoe mold for them here. <laughs> and this comes from the um, um, Spectra line from Mattel in the late, or mid late 80s. You know, the super shiny dolls, the chrome dolls. Um, this is the same shoe mold because they also had the same um, leg mold. But here for this Barbie, uh, I also had a, horse riding Barbie as a child. Mine was called Equestrian Barbie, so she came a couple years later. Uh, she also had kind of these boot covers, but she didn't come with these shoes. She came with black normal, you know, the, the typical um, like trainers. So, but it's interesting. So she is actually said, yeah, the trophy and this little riding stick that's missing for her, but very good condition. And so I picked her up. I think all of these dolls are very cheap, like something like two euro, three euro, blah, 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 blah. So, I think I got all of this together maybe for, I don't know, five or six euro or something like that. Um, or maybe not even that. I, I yeah. <laughs> um, what other dolls? Let's get to two super, 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 super good dolls. I was so, so happy. I was like ah, aesthetic when I saw them. We've got Teen Talk Barbie and We've got Teen Talk Barbie. Yeah, I found two Teen Talk Barbies from the same seller. It is the same seller uh, where Zelina bought the um, lights and lace. Not lights and lace, lights and lace. 
<laughs> sorry about the um, twinkle lights Barbie um, and I picked up these two teen talk girls I had one teen talk Barbie before not working and I had to I really I was like piecing together her outfit here a piece there a piece because the teen talk Barbie was released with different colorways of the outfit you can see that and uh, so many pieces and uh, especially the skirt is always very very ripped because it's actually just this very thin material and oh my goodness i never had any of the heads and now i found like two that are almost complete um yeah so here we've got one that has the um more like red and um, black colorway and here we've got one that has the more dark pink and purple colorway you could say uh, the one that i put together <laughs> kind of beforehand you know also broken head like neckline etc that she had but this is the one that i previously just put together she kind of uh, i put her more in this dark blue and like mint green color combination which i think is not even belonging together but yeah teen talk barbie you probably know her <laughs> <laughs> She's a very very famous doll. She even was one of the kind of recalled or controversial dolls that uh, appeared in the Barbie movie um, uh, 1992 and she there's yeah she is called teen talk Barbie for a reason because she can talk um, and the reason why she's a little controversial or uh, somehow like she wasn't really recalled but um, where there was a complaint that because one of the sentence that she was saying not everybody was saying the sentence um, but was math class is tough and it was really like oh you shouldn't uh, let um, girls like say like or a, a doll say that uh, so girls will be like oh I can I'm also a girl I can never do math etc it's it's like she she's saying so many sentences and there were so little like not a lot of dolls that actually had the sentence because every doll you get had different sentences um, and almost every teen talk Barbie also looks different it's such a cool line as I said there's at least four I think four different colorways of the outfit that always correspond with the earrings also but then you had different hair not, not types but different hair colors so here you see the light blonde here we've got more honey blonde my other one's also honey blonde more then you've got them with crimped hair or you have them with half straight half crimped hair you've got them with straight hair and you've got them with curly hair you've got them with bangs and you've got them without bangs they have different eye colors and there's even two ways the eyes could be painted one that had lower lashes one way that will look bigger and these are all the ones that uh, have don't have lower lashes so the uh, eye makeup here looks uh, interestingly enough exactly the same so this is the same but you can see that she has bangs and crimped hair and oh my goodness i didn't have to do anything to these dolls i did just surface clean them that's it i didn't even wash the hair it is so good she has like half crimped hair and no bangs she has you know purple ring purple earrings she has red ring red earrings um both of them have the little head and it's still attached to the head so there's still a little um, um like it's sewn on and you can see that this is the way the head should be styled so a lot of people put it the hair through the hole which that also makes sense but this is how it actually was supposed to look like and um, the only thing that actually these dolls are missing is they would come with another like pa pair of shorts also in the same pattern as the top those are not there they're not even really needed because as i said the outfit had many pieces and you could mix and match them um, both of them have the skirt on instead of the shorts and they didn't come with shoes but i put matching shoes on i don't know if these came with red shoes and these with pink i don't know oh yeah she even has her handbag uh she doesn't have the handbag i looked in the suitcase everywhere the handbag was not there so and the cool thing is they both talk and i was so surprised because what i heard and also i selena recently got uh, from vintage gaudi she also got a teen talk barbie recently and I always thought they just say four sentences. Every doll says four different sentences and then the other doll says four to completely different sentences. That's what I thought. Mine, both of them say six sentences. Is that normal? Was I just stupid and always thought that they say four sentences? 
Mein say six. I'm confused. They both speak German, which was the most likely because I found them in Germany <laughs> very close, obviously, to the Swiss border, but Switzerland's also German speaking. But Switzerland has a French speaking part and has a um, Italian speaking part, so that could have also been Italian or French, but no, mine, both of them speak German. And they work, and they say six different sentences. So, obviously, I mean, I didn't even say that, but also the uh, jacket, it is still stitched. This one I had to open because I had to get to the back, to the battery, but here you see it is still stitched to the top. The other one is also completely still stitched. So nobody ever removed the outfit. Nobody ever did anything. They still had the old batteries in them. It was not working anymore. A little bit of corrosion, but she works. Let me take her off the stand. And let's hear what she has to say. <laughs> it's obviously German, but. So, bis bald, that's like, see you soon. Tolle Frisur. Tolle Frisur, so that means like cool hairstyle. Du bist in. <laughs> du bist in. <laughs> you are in, so you are in fashion. <laughs> Gehen wir bummeln? Gehen wir bummeln? It's like, let's go shopping or let's go just stroll through the town. Jungs können nerven. Oh, Jungs können nerven. Boys can get on our nerves, something like that. Erzähl mir das Neueste, so please tell me the news. Bis bald. And this is the, 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 so the, so counting one, bis bald. Tolle Frisur. Zwei, the two. Du bist in. Three. Gehen wir bummeln. Four. Jungs können nerven. Five. Erzähl mir das Neueste. Six. And now she will start with uh, bis bald. So she has six different sentences and I was like, at first, I, 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 I was like crazy. I always thought it's just four, maybe just this one has six, but the other one also has six sentences. So maybe that's normal, but I thought it is four. <laughs> um, and she obviously says completely different stuff. So let's check on her. Du siehst cool aus, so you look, you're looking cool. She said it a little, not as loud. She has a different voice also. Was soll ich anziehen? Was soll ich anziehen? So what should I wear? Steht mir das? Steht mir das? So um, does it suit me? Magst du Musik? Do you like music? Magst du Musik? Ken ist ein super Typ. Ken ist ein super Typ. So Ken is a super, like, super... Ah, super cool guy. <laughs> He's a hot guy, something like that. Tolle Party. Tolle Party, so cool party. Du siehst cool aus. And now it starts again with du siehst cool aus. So one. Was soll ich anziehen? Two. Steht das? Three. Uh, four. Five. Six. It starts again with you are looking cool, this is cool aus. So please tell me in the comments if that is normal that they say five, uh, like six sentences. Maybe it was just, I don't know, the second release of them, if, I don't know, a couple months later and they were produced with six sentences or after they were recalled when this one, I mean, they were not recalled, but definitely this, this sentence. And I don't even know if in every language they had the sentence with, you know, math class is tough. If there was ever a German speaking teen talk Barbie saying like, Mathe ist schwer or something like that. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but maybe, I don't know, they programmed, they didn't program this anymore at all in any Barbie, the sentence, and then they came up with six sentences. If I'm pretty sure, uh, I have so many knowledgeable people uh, watching, so probably uh, someone of you will know that, I don't know, it is normal that they say five sentences, uh, six sentences or something. But I'm so happy. So these are my favorite finds of this whole flea market. I don't know where I should put them. <laughs> too crowded already here so can maybe you can there you go because there's more dolls ha 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 um yeah i actually found another peaches and cream <laughs> uh no i have not put her in a peaches and cream outfit i have a peaches and cream barbie 
um, and she's actually my favorite doll of the 80s so I couldn't say no when I saw another one and this was actually um, a seller where there were mainly modern dolls. I think she was the only older one, so the only Superstar era doll. Uh, but there were a couple of other fashions and we actually put so many fashions on her and all of the fashions Zelina got because she was interested more in the fashions and I was interested in the doll. She was actually uh, had a loose head and also she had a couple of pieces like there was a tiny bit of her nose ripped and she has some more like rips in her face. But this time I re-sculpted it. Uh, I mean, it's just very, very like small pieces that I had to re-sculpt. Um, yeah, here there's a little bit re-sculpted and there was a little piece missing out of her upper lip. So there, but I re-sculpted it with already um, like colored um, um, milliput. Not milliput, but this is epoxy putty stuff. So not from the company milliput, but from another company that I used that has already this skin color. So I didn't have to go in there and it's kind of the matching skin color. But you see here are two more rips and there's one more rip. This is just, I don't know, someone had did cuts in the Barbie's face. I don't know, but she is still so pretty. Also her hair is not super good. There is, it looks like some more layers than there should be. This side is a little bit cut and she had the, you know, the sticky hair. So I should do maybe, maybe it looks like there's still a little bit of powder in it <laughs> because I powdered it so that it kind of gets the kind of stickiness away. But I should probably boil wash her again. And I just gave her another outfit that kind of like is also in the peach color scheme, similar to what she is wearing, but here with silver, for example. I don't know, obviously she has actually a long gown. Um, Peaches and Cream is um, one of the most um, like famous Barbies of the 80s, she's from 1984, probably was uh, on sale in the toy stores in 1985, so 84 is the box date. And yeah, she will probably go on display like this because I think this is a very cute outfit. This is not even a Barbie dress, I think this is one of those... Um, Lucky Int Co dresses, which I think come, come from the Fashion Corner line or something. But yeah, so I couldn't resist more dolls. <laughs> uh, those come from the same... Um, oh no, no, no. Let me get first her. I always forget her. Because <laughs> she is here behind the, behind the Power Rangers card. Yeah, this is also a doll that I have already, but I also could not leave her. No, she is usually not a princess. She is usually a mermaid. Can you guess? Yeah, because this is the Magical Hair Mermaid, the European exclusive Mermaid Barbie from the 90s uh, with the um, purple pink color changing hair. She was wearing, I think, I don't know, something, a leather outfit or something at the flea market that I didn't want to pick up. Um, I just got her naked and there was no sign of her like, um, like mer mermaid outfit there. So I put her just in this um, late 90s princess Barbie. Uh, dress which matches her hair really nice. Hello, can you focus? There you go. Uh, but I still gave her kind of a mermaid crown. Um, she is very pretty. I have her already. Um, I got her actually from Zelina because over there you kind of find her pretty often at the flea market. You see, I found her at the flea market and Zelina has found her also, I think, twice already at the flea market or something. Um, so I don't know. Over there, it seems to be not a very rare doll. She is actually a pretty expensive doll, if you, if, especially if she has her mermaid outfit. Uh, she has also glitter in her hair, so tinsel. You can see it here in the bangs. Um, the rest of the hair was not in really good condition. With the tinsel, I had to kind of, I made these two braids here so that the tinsel is kind of, you know, kept in and uh, it's not loose because it didn't look good. Uh, but underneath you can see the purpley pink, so this is what would color change in hot and cold water. Um, the white earrings. And other than that, she is in normal, nice condition. There's nothing really about her. Um, so I haven't really decided because this would be one that probably someone would want to have. Because she is, especially over in the US, she was not released. She's a European exclusive. and. Um, Condition-wise, she's okay-ish. I would not really open up this hair because it, yeah, it doesn't really look good and it looks more grayish on the up, like the upper hair here. Um, but like this, she also looks very, very pretty in this princess dress. <laughs> um, so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with her. If I keep her, 
because like face wise she looks a little bit better than the one that I have the one I have has really pale makeup so it doesn't really like pop and her eyes etc look a little bit better but I don't know for now <laughs> she's here Ta -da. Um, and now let's get to the last two dolls oh my goodness of course by the way I didn't say she's from 1993 so uh, early slash more mid uh, 90s doll and yep two more dolls here both 80s slash the other one actually more 70s probably here we've got music loving Barbie and here is a superstar Barbie although I cannot exactly tell if it really is the superstar Barbie from 1977 or it is another doll that just shares the same face um, let's start actually with the music loving Barbie so this was a, a vendor that had many dolls modern ones and like vintage ones surprisingly <laughs> for the like modern mermaid barbies with the you know plastic tails they wanted more money than for these i think for for, for no, they called it normal doll they wanted like a four euro or something and we also asked if you could exchange a couple of fashions and we did that and in the end like selena kept the fashions and i kept the dolls because i really wanted this doll this is music loving barbie uh, because i had her outfit already and i'd never found her at the flea market well i found her once but more from a reseller and was one of the more expensive dolls so i didn't pick her up she's also we're talking already about um european exclusive dolls yeah this is also a european exclusive doll it's a whole line so there's a barbie there's a ken and there's a skipper and they are all wearing these very cozy yellow knit outfits they would come with a walkman and um i think even the later ones were really an association together with Sony or something I don't really remember or whatever but um, yeah they came with a Walkman and just a simple Barbie line with the straight arms so the budget arms um, and very curly hair actually yeah I boil washed her hair uh, I didn't recurl anything because I could never recurl th these tiny curls <laughs> uh, she had these super super small tiny curls actually with a ponytail like this and then similar to you know the Barbie and the Rockers hair etc um, so I just boil washed it and there's still this little bit of wave in in the hair which I'm fine it is very very soft it doesn't look that good I should probably either straighten completely or recurl it but as I said you cannot recurl these tiny 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 curls very easy actually I don't know how <laughs> um, but yeah other than that she is in very good condition there's I don't think that there's hair missing or anything no she's she's good uh she's just typically well, how the 80s dolls were rooted <laughs> she's from 1985 and yeah i i say european exclusive is that exactly true uh, she was also released in canada and she was also released in mexico but not in the us so she is uh, probably an expensive doll in the us oh yeah she has one issue chewed on hand but only this one the other hand is fine so this is one of her issue and as i said i had this outfit i had these leg warmers i had this jumpsuit and this jacket in a i think a barbie fashion lot that i once picked up online a couple of years ago and yeah she came with normal white flat uh, shoes what i don't have is her like walkman but i'm fine so she is pretty nothing super special i mean very long hair um and yeah, I think for, for US citizens, she might be more of a special doll. Zelina tells me she finds her all the time. For me, it's one that I haven't found. So now I have her. It was really good because there were a couple of fashions in that Zelina didn't have. And I was like, oh, cool, but I don't have the doll, but she had the doll. So it was very easy for us when we picked up uh, lots um, that we kind of knew I want the fashions, you want the dolls, the other way around. Um, yeah, and I also picked up from this vendor as I said, this superstar. <laughs> you can see in her face, this is the way the original superstar Barbie would be, you know, had her like face painted. Oh my goodness, can you show a little bit of your face? <laughs> um, but I don't think it is the 1977 superstar Barbie because I've heard from people or someone told me in the comments because I have one that 
if that would be the case, she would have a little like thread behind her ear on both sides. Uh, or at least if the thread's not there anymore, then um, there would be a little hole behind the ear. That, uh, that's how the um, hairstyle would be hold together with a little thread. Um, as she doesn't have it, so my other one has it. So I'm very sure that I have one original 1977 Superstar Barbie. And her makeup is also a little bit bolder. She, she looks a little bit happier, not, I don't know, a tiny bit different, um, but still it is the, obviously the Superstar face, <laughs> but of definitely also the Superstar painting on it. So. Um, if she is not the first like original 1977 Superstar Barbie, she could still be um, um, from 1978. And that's what I put her in and the Superstar Bridal uh, dress. So the beautiful bride Superstar. Uh, although this dress was also released on its own in a fashion pack later on and it's not complete. As I said, it's a bride so it would come with a veil and flower bouquet etc but I have this dress so in my collection she will be now the uh, superstar bridal doll so the beautiful bride she could also be the 1978 um, maybe picture pretty Barbie she also looked very similar and also the 1980 uh, roller skating Barbie also had the same face so maybe she was the originally the roller skating Barbie uh, they all would have the same hair and the same hair color and the same face trained and all of that. She is in pretty good condition. Uh, she's a little loose. So also her legs will not, most of them will not stay straight. She always boops back to this, but and it, it's like, you know, it's it's a little loose, but not, heck, not super terribly. She's missing earrings and rings, so she doesn't have any of the cool superstar jewelry. And yeah, as I said, I got her naked because we exchanged some fashions and then Zelina got the fashions and obviously there was nothing like in terms of original 70s Barbie fashions in there that could hint at uh, her being this or that doll. But um, with this face and her hair so nice and as I said, I have this outfit. So she will be now the 1978 uh, um, beautiful bright superstar Barbie in my collection. If I get once maybe the roller skating outfit, maybe I will turn head to be the roller skating Barbie. I don't know yet, but there's no space and oh my, <laughs> my peaches and cream. Whoopsie, fell again to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Can you even see me still somewhere? <laughs> Ooh that's it <laughs> I mean of course you cannot even see everything because all of the Barbie fashions and all of these um, like accessories all of that don't fit into the picture but like it is crazy <laughs> how much stuff we found but also I I wish it would have been something like G1 my little pony related in here but no what you find the most is Barbie and I'm also happy with that we've got Barbies from the like very early dates like even maybe the Ken might be early 70s up until you know 90s um, wonderful girls we've got some 2000s and some 2010 my little pony stuff and a lady lovely dog store from the 80s and all of that fashion goodness etc so oof I hope you enjoyed this probably two-part video if you did don't forget give it a thumbs up comment down below and if you're not subscribed maybe you want to do that it's completely free no money for you involved or anything it's just that you find my videos easier when you are a subscriber of mine then my videos pop up on your youtube feed or if you click the notification bell you get a separate notification that i have a new video so oh my goodness thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye